What do you do when you're stuck for ideas when it comes to creating content for your feed, whether that's Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, or YouTube? Stick around and watch this video and I'm gonna share with you my stealth content strategy, but it gets even better because one of my brand new online practice mastermind members just shared with me a new app that's gonna supercharge your engagement because it's gonna show you the trending topics and the trending searches in your niche that is gonna get you more engagement. So all you gotta do is use my content strategy, my stealth content strategy with this app, and it's gonna explode your engagement, which is gonna to lead to more clients. Let's dive right in. All right, so one of my members of my brand new online practice mastermind just shared with me an app that's gonna help you pick trending topics for your content creation strategy. That app is called Exploding Topics. And the reason why I like Exploding Topics is just by the name right out of the gates, I know that this is gonna help me pick topics to write about and to use in my content marketing strategy that are gonna be trending. And you want trending topics that relate to your niche because when you have trending topics that relate to your niche, what do you get? You get better engagement and better engagement ultimately leads to more clients. So if you're a psychotherapist or a coach and you want more clients, start working with trending content, trending topics, things that are gonna get more engagement, get more people sharing, liking, commenting on your stuff. So how do we do that? So, well, I don't really know much about exploding topics other than the fact that I wanna be an end user. So I don't know if they piggyback off the Google Trends data or the Google Trends algorithm, I'm sure they do, but maybe they have their own algorithm. Again, I'm an end user at this point, I'm not really concerned. But what I am concerned about is how it works. Now, the first thing I'm gonna look at is taking these two search categories here, these filters, I don't want trending topics from the last five years. I want stuff from the last one month. And the reason being is that that's gonna be more in tune to what's happening day to day uh, over the last month than something five years ago. I don't, I'm don't. i really not interested in stuff that was trending over the last five years. I wanna know what's trending today because it's gonna be new and it's gonna be fresh. And I wanna be creating content that's new and fresh. So here, I just picked the one month filter. I'm gonna scroll down and I did a bit of pre-searching. So I'm gonna pop up back up here and I'm gonna take a look at some of the categories and we've got lots of different categories, food, fitness, fashion. Now, if you're a coach in any of those niches and you wanna integrate any of those niches into the work that you do, great because you've got awesome filters here. Let's just stick with the psychotherapy niche. We're gonna pick health, for example. So boom, we're gonna jump into health and we're gonna look at what's trending in health over the last month. Now, oxim oximeter, that makes a lot of sense given everything that's happening in the world today. DIY masks, of course. Now, again, I was, I'm was i not gonna do something based on the situation that's talking about today because that's gonna be overdone. I wanna give you guys content ideas that are gonna be a little bit going against the grain because you, know, you don't wanna be just like everyone else. You don't wanna be a me too. You wanna have your own fresh content. How can we create that? Well, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep looking, Theragun, that could be interesting. Decision fatigue, that could be a really good topic. Again, though, I'm looking and it's just saying regular. It's got about you know 8,000 searches per month. Take a look at bake masks. They've got 150. Um, drunk elephant, for example, which I'm not really um, up to the speed on what's happening with drunk elephant, but you can see that that's exploding. And they got about 60,000 searches a month. So again, I did a little bit of pre-research. So I'm going to jump to where I found a kind of a good topic. Telehealth, boom, that's another good one. You can see it's new, so that's really important. Um, psychological safety, that could be good because you could see it's exploding there. But it's, again, only got 1.9 thousand searches per month. I want something a little bit more volume, but also it's going to let me differentiate between the telehealth because, you know, telehealth is going to be kind of overdone. A lot of people are going to be talking about it. And how are you going to stand out? So let's keep going, and I'm just going to pick it as an example, which what I pulled down here was, here we go, gut health. We got 14.8 thousand searches per month. It's exploding. Could be exploding mainly also because of what's happening in the world. That You know, if you've got a good gut biome, microbiome, that that's going to boost your immune system. Perfect. How do we use this data when it comes to my stealth content strategy? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take gut health here. And we're going to head on over to Quora.com. Oh, there we go. Quora.com. Type that in and I'm going to continue on with Google. Let's see if my login credentials are already preloaded. Let's hope so for the sake of this video. Speeding things up a little bit. And awesome. So we're into Quora. And what I'm going to do now is to get that trending topic that's moving on explodingtopics.com. I'm going to head on over to Quora and I'm just going to type in gut health. And here is where it's going to get interesting. 
because what we're looking for is engagement and we're looking for interesting questions that relate to our niche. Now, why do we go to Quora.com? I love Quora because these are questions. Oh, and I can see that I got a little spelling error there. So why do I love Quora.com? I love Quora because this is quest these are questions that are coming from your ideal client. Obviously, they're your ideal client or they're very similar to your ideal client because they're asking these questions and it relates to your niche. Now you're saying, Jonathan, I'm a psychotherapist. What's gut health got related? How is gut health related to my niche? Well, let's just keep looking down here and like, let's cruise down. We can see, does gut health play a big role in depression? Now, let's just suppose you take that question, does gut health play a big role in depression and you use that as the headline of your very next Instagram post or Facebook post or video for YouTube or your IGTV video. One of the benefits of that is that you're going to get a trending topic that's exploding on explodingtopics.com, which is gut health. Now you're also using your client's language and literally I would make a, the headline, the very first question of my content those exact words, that exact sentence, I wouldn't change it in any way, shape or form because now it's gonna be searchable on Quora, but it's also more importantly in my ideal client's language. So there's one example. And now all you've gotta do as the content creator is go and answer this question. And can you write a quick post or do a video on YouTube that talks about how gut health plays a big role in depression? Now you don't necessarily have to, um, I'm not gonna give you the guidance right now in terms of what you wanna say about that exact post, but I'm gonna allow you to search your own niche and use your expertise and your clinical skill set to come up with some content, but you can be answering that question, that ideal client's question with your content. Um, again, here, you know, how does gut health relate with anxiety and depression? Do you have an answer to that? Um, what is gut, gut health? What about here? What does what role does gut health appear to play in psychiatric and neurological disorders? The other thing that you want to look at is you've got someone here with six answers um, to this question, but then you also down here, you have 23 answers to this question. So I'm going to be inclined to pick the question that's got 23 answers because it's got more engagement. So is there a link between gut health and mental health? Boom, fantastic question. I'm going to take this. This is going to become my new topic of my piece of content. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to head on over to Google Docs. I'm going to drop that question in there and I'm going to create myself an amazing piece of content just answering that question. Is there a link between gut health and mental health, knowing that it's exploding on explodingtopics.com, knowing that it's using a question in my client's language based on what I pulled from Quora.com and now I've got a really good idea for a piece of content that's gonna move and gonna gain some traction and get some interest, whether that's a like, a comment, or a share on any one of my feeds. So there you have it. All you gotta do is head on over to explodingtopics.com, grab a topic idea because it's got some good search volume, take it on over to Quora, type it in and grab a question that's gonna be in your ideal client's language and just answer it. It's super simple. You don't even have to think about it. That's my stealth content strategy, supercharged with explodingtopics.com and now you've got some really good trending topics and content ideas that are gonna get you more likes, more comments and more shares and ultimately gonna get you more clients for your online practice. My name is Jonathan Van Vegan. I'm gonna leave a link down below if you want more amazing content marketing strategies as well as online practice marketing strategies. Come and join us in our online practice mastermind. We'd love to have you. I'll leave that link in the comment section down below. Thanks so much everyone, bye now.